Hey there, we are so glad that you've joined us today for this YouTube event to let you know about Claystone and some of the exciting changes that, uh, that are happening this year. Uh, my name is Dale Stairs and this is my wife Twyla and together we direct the Claystone uh, Certificate um, here at Crandall University. So today I'm going to be your host um, and I'll be hanging out here at this table with you and Twyla is going to slip out and she's going to be monitoring chat and just interacting with you online. So thanks you so much for joining us. We look forward to, uh, to all, that's, uh, all that's coming up here today. Um, you know, as I was thinking about uh, today, I was thinking that uh, this may be the reason that I came to Claystone. Like, it may actually be the reason that I'm here at Crandall to do this, um, to be a YouTube host. That might just be my purpose. Um, and so anyway, today's sort of a trial experience with that. We'll see how it all goes. Uh, in all seriousness, the, uh, the, the reason we're excited about Claystone is because we've seen it change people's lives. And um, Twyla pulled together some, some quotes from students as uh, we, we debriefed on the experience of Claystone over the past few years. Um, she just pulled together some of the things that people have said about their experience. So just listen to this. One person said, I think it has made me a happier person, a more confident person, a more willing to step out of my comfort zone person. My knowledge about the Bible has increased significantly. Love that. Another person said, um, how has it changed me? Well, I'm almost a completely different person, stronger mentally, spiritually, and physically. I've learned, I've learned to love myself more this year, and my overall faith was strengthened. Awesome. Another person said this, said, it has changed the way I treat others. It has changed my relationship with God uh, and Christianity. It has changed who I am and my identity. It has changed my habits. It has changed everything about me, really. And, uh, and, and quotes like that sort of get to the point of what we talk about with Claystone. We talk about transformation, heart, mind, and body. And, uh, and so we are just so, so excited about the changes that uh, Claystone brings to, uh, to people. One other person just said, Claystone has built a stronger foundation in my faith. It has also made me appreciate and enjoy nature more. And certainly getting out in creation is a, is a big part of what uh, Claystone is all about. Um, we're going to uh, just talk about the changes coming up with Claystone and that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, and, and the other big thing I want to do is answer your questions. So if you have questions right now, you can just type them in the chat and uh, Twyla will let me know about those. Um, we've also had a lot of questions come in over the last uh, week or so as we've been starting to promote this program. Um, and the changes. And uh, so I'll be answering those questions as we go along. Uh, the, uh, so, so what's the big change? At the core of it, the big change is that we're going to be on campus. So Claystone on campus. And, uh, and so that means we continue our partnership with Shiktahawk Bible Camp. And uh, we're excited about that partnership. We love working with Shiktahawk. And uh, but uh, everything else looks a little bit different. Uh, so some of the big changes. Well, in the areas of mission and adventure, we're doing that stuff on the weekends and on the study breaks. And uh, we'll, I'll talk about the outdoor adventure in a minute, but just so you know about mission, throughout the year we're going to have 10 different mission days. Some of those were busy in the evenings, some on, uh, on Saturdays. Um, we uh, will have a, a two-week Dominican Republic mission trip at the end of the, uh, the, se the winter semester. Um, we ha within Claystone, we're going to continue to build on the, uh, the community. That community is so important to us, and we, uh, we want to we build on that. Um, but since it's happening here on campus, one of the big things is, is that you are now eligible for all of Crandall's scholarships if you decide to do Claystone. And uh, we, are, we are really excited about that. The, uh, the, the cost of Claystone, people always ask that question. I had someone the other day ask me if it was going to cost twice as much since they were doing both Claystone and working on their Crandall degree at the same time. Um, definitely not. The, uh, the, the program costs $875 per semester. That's the program fee to be in Claystone. That covers all of your uh, outdoor adventure and mission experiences throughout the semesters. Uh, the final trip to the Dominican Re Republic is extra. We'll talk about that in a bit. 
But uh, so for 875, that covers everything. That covers your outdoor adventure, the transportation to and from those events, the food while you're uh, out, outside, and, and the mission experiences. Um, the, uh, the two-week Dominican Republic trip happens after the winter semester, and uh, we're going to do it through Canadian Baptist Ministries and, uh, and working with partners in the Dominican Republic. And so the, uh, the really cool uh, thing about this is you can fundraise for it. Um, if you've, if you've ever been involved with uh, CBM, they have this awesome website where you can, uh, almost like a GoFundMe thing, and you can, you can work to raise your money that way. In the past, students that have worked at it have done really well with their fundraising, and usually it's, uh, it's, it's all or close to all paid. Uh, and then the courses. Of course, it's, this is a full year of university. And so uh, the courses that are part of Claystone on campus are these ones. So there's Theology and Practice of Missional Living. There is Themes of the Bible. There is Mission Praxis. That's a six-credit hour course, so the equivalent of two courses. Intro to Spanish, so we can all be ready to talk in the Dominican when we get down there. There's the Christian Way. Um, there, is, there are three kinesiology activity credits, and these are great courses because it recognizes that you are learning a lot as you're doing outdoor adventure. And so you're not learning in books for this, these courses, these credits, but you are actually learning by doing, and you're learning by using your body in physical ways. So, uh, so we, you get a, court, a credit for uh, canoeing, and you get one for rock climbing and ice climbing, and there's one for uh, hiking and uh, survival. So, uh, so those are those courses. Um, in addition, there's a course on spiritual disciplines. Uh, this is a new course on campus here at Crandall, and, uh, and so we're excited about having that. And then you have spots for two electives. So that's really handy if, you, uh, if you're planning on doing Claystone um, to lead into um, a degree at Crandall. That's a great place to do, take your intro courses in the, the degree you want to pursue. Um, so that's... That's it in a nutshell. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's something we're really, really excited about. We, we think this having Claystone on campus is going to open it up to a lot of other people that may not have been able to do it before, um, as it lets you take full advantage of all the community, all of the community and all of the things that Crandall has to offer um, here on campus. So... Uh, one of the big things I want to do today is just answer your questions. So what I've brought along with me today is ye old dry bag full of questions. So we're just going to randomly pull one out every once in a while and talk about that question. So the first one is, what scholarships are there for Claystone? Okay, so we get this question a lot, and, uh, and we are so excited to say that uh, if you want to do Claystone, you can apply for any scholarship that Crandall offers, and, uh, and you'll be eligible for them. Um, so we're really excited about that one. The next question inside the bag is this. I'm planning to take the incredibly awesome Bachelor of Theology partnership with Acadia. Can I do Claystone too? Well, yes, you can. That's the short answer to the question. And, um, and thank you, anonymous person, for saying the BTH is incredibly awesome. Um, so the Bachelor of Theology Partnership is a, uh, uh, a partnership between Crandall and Acadia Divinity College that lets you get two degrees at the same time. So you get a Crandall degree and your Bachelor of Theology Partnership, uh, Bachelor of Theolo Theology degree from Acadia. And since I direct both programs, I was able to work these together so that they fit wonderfully for you to do Claystone as your first year of the BTH partnership. So that's, uh, that's an exciting thing. The next question in ye old dry bag of questions is, what outdoor adventures are a part of Claystone? And that is a great question. People ask about that all the time because, hey, let's face it, this is an attractive part of it. As the, as the year gets going, the first thing we're going to do is uh, canoeing. So we'll do two days of training with canoeing and then a three-day uh, trip down the St. Croix River. Um, wonderful and beautiful in the fall. Um, the next event that we do is a three-day rock climbing trip. Uh, we go to Wellsford, uh, just north of St. John. And, uh, and Wellsford is actually one of the... Um, one of the most little known but best climbing locations in eastern North America. Um, there are some people from all over the world that travel there and the climbing is superb. So that'll be a great, great trip. 
Um, then on the fall study break, um, uh, we will study nature and we will hike. So we'll be hiking the Fundy footpath. Uh, so that's a five-day hike. It's, uh, it's challenging. Um, it's physically exhausting. But man, is it ever worth it. It is, uh, it, it's such a great event. Um, and then in the winter, most of our winter activities happen during a 10-day um, trip where we spend our time based at Chictahawk Bible Camp and then go out from there. And we'll do winter camping. We will do, uh, uh, we will do ice climbing, which is a whole lot of fun. I mean, anything where you get to have axes in both hands, um, that, that, that's a good day. So, uh, so, so we do ice climbing and we do... Um, uh, cross-country skiing and snowshoeing and it's just 10 days of immersive outdoor activities and uh, loads and loads of fun. Uh, on a connected note, one of the things that uh, we asked the students over the last two years uh, was what was your favorite outdoor adventure and uh, believe it or not, winter camping. They say that's their number one event and uh, we you know, we're not surprised because people are very nervous about it going into it. It's like, what? I'm going to sleep outside in the winter? That's crazy. But then they do it, and they absolutely love it. And so two years in a row, that was the number one um, voted outdoor activity. Um, also throughout the year, in addition to those big trips that we've talked about, we're going to have uh, five different days where we do adventure days. And those are just uh, head out for the day and do something fun and uh, challenging in, out, out in nature. So, uh, <clears throat> so those are the, the, the adventures. Just a second. All right. So now I'm going to get back to the uh, questions in the bag. Next question is, to be in clay stone, do I have to live on campus? Um, the answer is, is, is no, you don't have to, but we would encourage you to. Um, community is a really big part of Claystone, and, uh, and living either in Colburn or Mitten, that's our, our, our residence or our apartments, um, that, that's a great place to be. You're surrounded by others uh, that are in Claystone or other at Crandall and people that want to grow in their faith. So we'd encourage you to stay on campus, but you don't have to. If you, uh, if, if you live in the area and want to live at home, that's completely okay. Next question. I already took some of the courses. Do I need to retake them? Okay, so this is a question that sort of leads into one thing that we're very excited about with Claystone. It's now open to people in any year. So you could be in your second, third, or fourth year here at Crandall and could take Claystone. And so for those people, um, if, if they look down in the list of courses and say, hey, I already took three of these, do I have to take them again? No, you don't. Um, you just have to, you fill those spots with other courses and uh, you've already got the credit, so uh, you do not have to retake them. Another question, what if we aren't allowed to travel to the Dominican Republic? Um, so uh, that, that's, a, that's a really good question because um, as we all know, um, in these years of COVID, uh, or this time of COVID, we don't know for sure what it's going to look like next year. Um, but here, here's the plan, okay? So you might have noticed that all of our events up until the final trip happen inside the province of New Brunswick. And that's so uh, we're in this area where we, th we think we should be able to travel around safely. With the final trip, um, it, we, our plan is to go to the Dominica, and you're going to be fundraising for that. You'll have your money in place. And if the trip has to be delayed, if the government says we can't travel there or for some other reason we can't, then that money stays there, and we'll do the trip at another time. So uh, you will get to do your trip. It may not ha It's a possibility it may not happen at the end of this semester, uh, the winter semester, but it will happen, and we will, uh, uh, we will promise you that. We've got a question just come in. So I was bringing it over here to me. Okay. What is the age limit? That's a great question. Um, and so, uh, um, well, the un lower age limit is you just have to be finished high school. Um, so that's, uh, that's an easy one. Um, the upper age limit is sort of a moving target with something like Claystone. 
Um, we've, we've found in the past that most people that do it are between, you know, the, the 17, 18 up to 24 years old. Um, we've got a couple this year that are, are, are 24 and 25, I think, that are planning to do it. Um, what I would say to people about this program is you need to just be aware that it's built for young adults. So if you're someone that's, uh, that's older than Twyla and I, and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to get in on Claystone, um, you need to be really young in spirit um, if you, you want to do that. Um, so we built the program for young adults. And uh, if you consider yourself a young adult, um, we would love to have your application and, uh, and look into that with you. Another question that came in a little while ago, um, how much does the Dominican Republic mission trip cost? And a uh, great question. We, uh, when we're planning a year out on a mission trip, we, uh, we have a very good idea based on past experiences. And so we're, we believe it will be about uh, $2,600 for the two-week trip. And, uh, and so that's, uh, uh, that, that can flex a little bit, either up or down. Um, and of course, in these days, we don't know what, uh, uh, the, what flight costs are going to be like after, um, after things get going again. But uh, we believe it'll be in that range. From the bag. Um, yeah, people ask us, why are you making this change? Like, why are you doing this? Instead of being at Camp Shiktahawk, um, now you're, you're based at Crandall. Why are you making this change? Um, uh, so, so in a word, COVID. Um, <laughs> COVID is, has just caused us, everybody that's involved in ministries and organizations to make changes. And, uh, and so we believe that by being here on campus, um, and uh, not traveling outside of the province throughout the year uh, until the final trip. We, we just believe that's going to be the, the best option for us. Um, this is not a time where we can do some of the mission trips that we've done in the past, like working, working with a, a First Nations community. Um, that's just not going to happen right now. Doing inner city mission in Montreal, that's not going to happen. And so, uh, so we've, we've, uh, we've made the changes for, for those reasons. Um, but as we've made those changes, we've started to get very excited about it because we've realized this opens up Claystone to people that uh, might not have done it. Another question that came in is this one. What does, yeah, I love this. When, when I was asked this the other day, I laughed because it says, what, what does a typical Claystone week look like? Um, yeah. There is no such thing as a typical Claystone week, but I can say that there are some, some common things that will happen um, regularly. So students in Claystone are Crandall students, so they will be going to classes throughout the week. Um, those classes will take place primarily Monday through Thursday, and, uh, and so we're, uh, we're, we're excited about those courses. Um, the, uh, the rest of the time, um, it, it's, it's different all the time. So we will be, um, uh, we'll be doing um, a regular small group ministry. Um, so, so we'll gather for small groups um, on uh, every Monday for a little while, just with the Claystone students trying to build community. The, uh, there will be a guys uh, discipleship group and a girls discipleship group, and those will meet each week. Um, and then, you know, like every second week or so, we'll have an evening or a Saturday where we go and do adventure or we go and do mission and that sort of thing. Um, and then there's, like I've said, there's those weekends and, uh, um, and the study breaks where we go for longer periods of time. So is there a typical thing? Not really. Um, but uh, those are some of the things that will be happening. Another question I've got. Um, yeah, I'm already a Crandall student. Can I do Claystone? And, uh, and we, we talked about that a bit already, but yeah, you absolutely can, as long as it fits into your program. If, you know, if you're, a, if you're a fourth year student and you've got a whole lot of senior courses you need to take, this may not work for you, but, uh, but we will do our best to make it work for you at any stage of your Crandall degree. And we're, we're quite excited about some of Crandall's returning students that are going to be uh, um, doing it next year with us. Got another question to come in? All right. Here is the question. When will people know if they're accepted? Okay. Um, this is coming from a, a student that has applied. 
uh, we'll let you know really, really soon. Um, and, uh, and, and Twyla whispered to me who it was, and I can let you know you are accepted. But you'll get the official letter really soon. Um, that, that brings me to, around to something that, that's really, really important, um, is just about how to apply and that sort of thing. So, um, so if you're already a Crandall student and you're, you're here on campus already, and then if you go onto our, our website, um, in the Claystone portion, you'll find two places to apply. And one says, if you're a current Crandall student, click here. And that just means you don't have to fill out the complete Crandall application at the same time. If you've never applied, applied to Crandall before, then there's a, there's a different place where it says if you're a new, new student to Claystone, you can apply here. Um, but one thing that's really important is we're limiting this program to 15 students this year. And, uh, and let me tell you, over the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of interest. And so if, if you're thinking about this, um, I'd suggest get an application in quickly. It'll be the, uh, the first 15 accepted with deposits paid that are, are in the program. Okay, just a few more questions in the dry bag of questions. Um, someone says, if I don't do Claystone but attend Crandall, can I still take part in the courses and do some of the outdoor adventures and be involved in missions? Yeah, I was, I was asked this a while ago, and uh, uh, a really good question. So there's sort of the three things I have to answer about it. So the courses. Um, can you take part in the courses? You can take part in most of them because most of the courses are ones that are already offered here at Crandall. Uh, the, uh, so if there's space, then, then you can get in on those courses. Um, there's a couple of exceptions to that. The, uh, uh, the mission praxis course that I teach, you can't, can't get in on that one um, because that's, that's the mission experiences in Claystone that are a core part of that. And the theology and practice of missional living that's done through the ba the bachelor of theology partnership with acadia and so we we uh we can't allow extra students in that but for the others yeah you can be in on it for the outdoor adventure um so i have to say no but um we're in conversations with uh, shiktahawk bible camp for some opportunities for other for any crandall student that wants to do outdoor adventure so what we're hoping in the fall it is that on two different weekends, we'll be able to invite Crandall students to just pay a fee and take part in, um, in a rock climbing trip or in a canoe trip. So uh, just one of the benefits of having Claystone here is that we can, uh, we can tag on something like that and make it available for, uh, for other students. Um, and then as far as the mission experiences, um, we want to have... Uh, other Crandall students involved in those mission experiences. And so uh, the Dominican trip, no, that will just be for Claystone students. But as far as local mission, if we're, if we're doing something local, um, whenever we can, we'll invite other Crandall students to be a part of that so that, uh, so that they can experience that as well. Okay, I'm getting down there. I think this is my last, nope. Two more questions in the bag. Um, yeah, we was asked a while ago if Claystone will work with any Crandall degree. Um, and uh, the, uh, <laughs> I guess one way to answer it is to say yes, anything is possible. Um, but it, with some degrees, it might mean that you're going to have to do some extra time. So if you wanted to uh, start out with Claystone and then, say, go into a Bachelor of Science, um, you're not going to be able to get that done in, in four years. So you'd have to do some extra time with that. Um, if you're one of those keener students that thinks, hey, I'd like to do a triple major, double minor, and three certificates, um, you, you can do all that in about seven years. So, um, so anyway, the, the, the short answer is, yeah, you can do this with any program. It works really well with any of the Bachelor of Arts programs, um, and it can work with a BBA as well. Um, and, uh, and it can even work with the organizational management. Um, it, could, it could potentially work with a student that was doing concurrent ed um, if they had space. We'll try to make it work with any program, but uh, it works the best with, uh, with a Bachelor of Arts or a business administration. And the final question in the bag is this. Uh, what are the mission projects? Okay, so um, 
most throughout the year we're going to be involved in in local mission projects and so that'll be connecting with local organizations local churches um, places like harvest house and teen challenge and uh, um, children's ministries senior ministries like we'll be involved in a bunch of different uh, missions projects um, we're going to be working hard to make it like cutting edge stuff like it's it's not just oh, let's go and we'll plan something fun for the children. Like, it, it's going to be good. It's going to be challenging and, uh, and, and really, really, uh, um, really, really awesome that way. Um, and then the, uh, the final trip is uh, the, to the Dominican Republic. And what do we do there? Well, um, one of our main projects is teaching English to, uh, to at-risk kids. Um, We've been doing this now for a couple of years, and these children are just incredible. So we work with uh, kids that, they, they tell us that 75% of these kids come from homes where um, their main income is either prostitution or drug dealing or both. And while it breaks our hearts, we just absolutely fall in love with these kids. And teaching them English can provide a way out. Um, if they get a hunger for learning English and then take off with that, then there's lots of jobs in tourism and, and that sort of thing. Um, so it can break the cycle that they've been a part of. Um, and so, so that's, uh, that's one of the main things we do. And then we just work with a couple of different churches, a, a Pentecostal church and a Baptist church, um, learning, learning how they do ministry and how they do mission. Um, oh, and one really cool thing I should mention about the mission trips if you happen to be one of those keeners that wants to take the Bachelor of Theology and Claystone, then uh, we're putting those trips back to back, and you can spend four weeks in the Dominican Republic. So that's, uh, that's a pretty exciting uh, opportunity. Um, so question that just came in that you just answered for Emily. OK, so I apparently just answered a question. Um, and Twyla was writing it out, getting ready to pass it to me. And that was the question, can you do Claystone and BTH at the same time? So that's, uh, that's the main things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Do we have another question that just came in? Uh, yeah. Just, just yeah, just shout it out to me. What's the question? Uh, where can I see what's going on with Claystone and how, as a non-Claystone person, student, can I be involved? Awesome. Love that question. So uh, we, we, try to, uh, we try to be pretty consistent throughout the year in, uh, um, in putting things on Facebook. And that's mainly, let's be honest, mainly for the parents um, and uh, those of, uh, that are closer to my generation. And, um, and then we use this, uh, what's this new social media platform called? Uh, um, see... I can't remember. My brain has gone. What do we put it on? Instagram. Instagram. See, this is where I should confess that I had a concussion a little while ago, and my brain is really foggy right now. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there's this new thing called Instagram. You might have heard about it. And, uh, and so we, uh, we post on there, and that's, that's where more of the uh, um, high school students and other young adults follow what's going on. Yeah. So... Uh, any other questions? If it's your last chance, if you're watching right now and you have a question, fire it out. And uh, if we don't see something in the next couple of minutes, we're going to wrap things up. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining us uh, for this today. And if you have any questions about Claystone, um, then please get in touch with us. Um, Twyla or I would love to answer your questions. We'd love to chat with you on the phone or on Zoom or whatever else works and uh, just, just, just help you know what this is all about and how it could, uh, could work for you. So um, I hope that a bunch of you join us. I hope that, uh, uh, okay, Twyla tells me a new question coming in. I hope that, uh, I hope that you join us. I hope that, uh, that, you know, you spread the word to other people. Um, like, like us on, on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and we will, uh, um, we will try to uh, communicate with you all the great things that are happening. So we got another question? Somebody's wondering how many weekend trips are there? How many weekend trips? Great question. Yeah, so uh, the, throughout the, f in the fall there are 
just two weekend trips. Uh, then we're busy all through the study, the fall study break between the Fundy Footpath and uh, um, and the, uh, the the Urban Plunge where we're doing mission. Um, and then in the winter, there's just the one big ten day um, trip over the fall over the winter study break. And so so yeah, there's really only those three, four, total of five different weekends that we're, uh, that we're busy. And uh, in addition, we have one-day events um, that happen primarily on Saturdays. So I'm going to uh, get ready to sign out for now. You can keep on posting on there if you have questions, and uh, Twyla will, will answer them. Um, we're going to go back and just wrap up with the, uh, the Claystone video that we started with, and, uh, and thank you again so much for joining us. God bless you.